This is the high note. Come on here! Chicago! Come on! Where are we? Detroit. I can't hear you, Maggie. Detroit. I can't hear you, Detroit! I am Honey Davenport. You are my inspiration for today. <laughs> I, I like I can feel it. I feel like Grace. You like I feel like either Grace was inspired by you or you were inspired by Grace. I don't know which. <laughs> that's that. Well, that's uh, quite a compliment because I am definitely, definitely inspired by you a lot. Um, so let's talk about your film, which I absolutely loved. What spoke to you about the script? Like, what in that script said I need to do this movie? There were a couple of things. Um, I think the biggest was the overarching message that I really personally connected to. And I also felt was really um, identifiable for everybody. This idea that there is no age, no phase, no stage, no circumstance that should stop you from pursuing your dreams and going after what you want. Even if it's a change of direction, even if the people around you are saying, stay in your lane, stay small, do this, that that is not the message to listen to. The message to listen to is in your heart. And I just felt personally really connected to it, which brings me to the other reason I was dying to do this film is because I would get to sing, which for the, you know, was my childhood biggest dream and somehow turned into my biggest fear. The character was giving me an opportunity to go after my biggest dream. Is there any advice that you would give to people who have given up on their dream, like ways to reactivate themselves and re-get on aligned with their dream? Well, I wouldn't say I gave up on it. I just kind of put it aside and got busy focused on other things that were working. And you know, when you leave a, a dream alone for a long time, it gets scarier. Like it's like the fear gets bigger. So I don't know that I would offer advice. I think the biggest thing I would say is that it's never too late and it's always worth it. You can't try things unless you aren't worried about what people think. The point is not to be great. The point is to try it. That's how you gain equity in yourself. That's how you own who you are. I would say to people, it's worth it. Like the fire inside you is worth it. You can change directions and what people think of you is none of your business. Right. Um, and sometimes even what you think of yourself is none of your business. Get out of your way. <laughs> Go live your dreams. Be who you want to be. That is the absolute truth, especially in this quarantine situation. I've realized personally that a lot of the outside voices are now turned off because I'm here by myself. Yeah. Are, you, are you finding any of that in your quarantine as well? Um, yeah. I mean, I feel very grateful to be retethered to parts of myself that I um, never get a chance to be with, you mm -hmm. know, um, to uh, move out of a pace that is work hard and work smart and into a space of be easy, be gentle, be joyful. And in the age of TikTok, I was wondering if we could expect any TikTok challenges out of the songs in the movie. I do believe there is a TikTok challenge around the corner. Ow! Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see it. And I cannot oh wait to join in and participate in that. I was like, this needs to be a TikTok challenge. Yeah. The only thing I was saying. <laughs> did you have any uh, creative input on the process of the song? I did, actually, yeah. Um, it was quite a process. We did it all really quickly um, in advance of shooting. We started the recording. We went through so many songs because you know we had to build um, a legacy of music as if there were hits from the 90s 2000s so we had to sort of choose a body of of songs that made it feel like grace had this full career i was in the studio seeing which ones i liked best which ones felt good love myself was one of my favorites and one of the first ones i have a special place in my heart for every one of the songs i don't know if you know who corinne bailey ray is but uh -huh. she was a songwriter that I loved as, and singer growing up. Um, and she wrote a song that I did, which is crazy. The, the music I was very involved with, I put in my two cents and I love the soundtrack will come out the same day as the movie on May 29th. In the High Note, which is written by a female writer, uh, directed by a woman and has strong female leads. With your previous activism and support of Times the Times Up movement, how did you feel working on this film? It was amazing. Um, yeah. I love being in a, in a work environment that was inundated by female voices um, and also female voices telling the story of a female narrative. So uh, it felt good, it is good, and we need more of it. You did an incredible job. 
of uh, emulating a pop diva. And as a drag queen, it's something that we are known for doing. So would you like to play a game with me real quick? Yeah, let's play a quick game. Okay, this game is called Drag Queen or Pop Diva. Okay. I'm gonna show you a couple of pictures and you oh have God. to guess if it's a drag queen or a pop diva. Oh my God, I'm so excited, okay. Are you so excited? Okay, yeah. here's, here's your first one. Oh, that, that's a pop diva, that's Dolly. That's Dolly Parton, ding, ding, ding. You are, you are doing good so far. All right. That's Cher, pop diva. And that is Chad Michaels, all-star. Chad Michaels, the winner of the first season of RuPaul's Drag Race. As Show Cher. me that again, Chad. You, oh my God, that makeup is excellent. That's Chad Michaels as Cher, right? right? Now I want to see Chad without the Cher makeup. Right? It's incredible what we can do. Let's go to the next one. I was going to say it's Britney Spears, but now I'm doubtful. Oh my God. I'm going to say drag queen. That is a drag queen. That is Eric Barry as Britney Spears. But what an impersonation. Unbelievable. Okay. Here you go. That's Christina Aguilera. That is Christina Aguilera, but that's also Christina Aguilera on RuPaul's Drag Race. So, oh my God. So it's like right in the middle. Right in the middle. Okay, what's my score so far? So far, you are, uh, you have- Three right and one wrong. Three right and one wrong. Three right okay. and one wrong. All right, you're winning so far. Let's see. Drag queen or pop diva? I don't even know who that is. Wait, wait, wait. Here's a clue. You mentioned the pop diva in your movie. Oh my God, <laughs> I don't know. It's okay. This is Trinity K. Bonet as Cardi B. Unbelievable. Okay. Right. Whoever, who, whoever that is, uh, I'm obsessed. Thank you so much for doing Thank it. Thank you. Especially in these crazy times, I just have to say you're one of my heroes. Thank you for everything you are and everything you do.